Hey, hey, it's your girl Andrea. Yeah, it's uh, definitely not daylight. <laughs> not that there's any windows right here. And if you hear that, we have baby goats. So um, it's about 11 o'clock at night, actually. Um, and I'm just going to start this vlog because the last one was a little update that we were moving goats in. Well, it turns out we went away to go visit Nathan's family for Christmas and the goats started kidding a little bit early. So we actually had our third one tonight have babies. Zara is one of my girls and she just had twins. So I'll show you a little bit of that. The little lighter colored one is a girl, and the one that's trying to get up right now is a buckling. So he's a boy. Um, the girl was first, the buckling was second, so that's why she's up already, if you can't tell. And mom kind of prefers her, but she's not beating on the other one or anything like that. She's just kind of choosing to focus on her first, but she is cleaning him off, so good news there. But she needed some help. She has been at it for a while now, um, and I checked, she had two feet, I was like, you should be fine. Came back in here again, nothing, came back in again, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check again. And yep, she was right there. Baby just hadn't gotten head out and shoulders out to make it easy for her. So I helped her, and then the second one came really quick, um, and he was gasping for air. So he actually kind of was kind of getting constricted a little bit. Um, pulled him out real quick, as quick as I could, in a safe way, and he made his arrival. He was gasping, so he, uh caught some air and now he's good but I was like oh I don't like that so there's that Zara had her babies we also had Lola 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 you had two your uh, other boy is currently in the house because you don't like him but she's got one cute little thing down there and then the very first one was my girl blue and blue had a blue girl with blue eyes and then a red and white boy with blue eyes and they are so stinking cute so she was first then lola and then miss zara just had her babies you're doing great it's only been about 10 minutes maybe probably five since the little one the second one came out i guess so goats are quick goats are uh Usually healthy spunky little things if they're not trying to stand pretty immediately then then generally there's something wrong So it's good when they're crying. It's good when they're shaking their head all of that stuff But we'll see if we have any more in the morning. Uh, I'm gonna go to bed now <laughs> So this will be like a numerous day vlog, but yeah, the goats are arriving So our calving season warm-up is here and I had to help So there's that Your boy is bigger than your girl finally done but uh we're scraping yards now because it's a mess it was raining sleeting a little bit of snow rain sleet ice rain so it's just a not great so scraping the yard uh we're feeding right now just trying to get them a dry spot to lay because they're soaked they're muddy they're less than ideal cows are muddy it's just not ideal but it is what it is. They're tough. The ones in the barn are dry as could be, so there's that. But this is why we have concrete yards. Because otherwise this would have been a foot of mud because we're still not really froze. Good morning, kids. Really? I'm glad you doofuses are in here because you wouldn't be feeling so hot if you were outside. Wisconsin's. Hi, right, babies. Everybody's up to eat. I don't see anybody back, so that's good. Good, good, good. I think we're finally coming out of it with these guys. Cows are up there. It's muddy where they're staying to eat, but the rest of this is not terrible, so. This time last year, we had like four feet of snow. <laughs> I remember Nathan digging snow drifts out of our horse yard at our house that were taller than the skid loader. And now we have mud. It's a weird time, but we'll survive. I mean, on the bright side, it's 30 degrees, not negative 50. So there's that. 
I don't want to even walk through that. Does it make it for cows? I'm gonna stay here. On the bright side, we might get to move into our house in the next couple of days. We just have to get the hot water heater hooked up and a septic electrical hooked up. And then we can move in. It's not 100%, but it's good enough that we can move in and he, our plumber, can go fix some other projects that he has to be working on and then come back and fix the little detail of ours. So hopefully, fingers crossed, knock on wood. So the top layer is frozen off from last night that I can walk on it. But when they walk on it, they sink. So less than ideal. These poor girls. I feel bad watching them walk through it, but they're tough. We have a little bit more of a bottom than we did yesterday. So that's good. I mean, they're sinking a little bit less, but you can see. At least they're laying in dry non-muddy muddy areas they're not full of mud but i don't know what's worse mud or <laughs> extreme cold and blizzards to be honest are you really <laughs> someone that raises livestock if you don't complain about the weather year round <laughs> however all of you know for the most part that we've been in a d3 drought so moisture is good mud is a good thing even if it's an inconvenience it's a good thing. <laughs> there we go. Less than ideal. Try not to spill any because it just ends up in the mud. I will say, is Axel? Phenomenal in the mud compared to the old feeder wagon. So there's that little win for NDE again. It works well. Hey, gross. All right. Back I go. Lord help us. It is much better over here. Not, a, not great, but it's better than that. Like I said, less than ideal. However, this is why we uh, get the cows out of the field before there's even a chance of mud in the spring because one, this is going to lead to some compaction, and two, you don't want a calf out here. So, you know, nobody wants to do that. <clears throat> but being it's not even January 1st yet, this is where they get to exist. <laughs> yeah. Prior <laughs> to, that's a boy. That's literally a steer is layering. Hey, this is the reality of after the storm but you guys have a clean lot now and you're ready to rock and everybody looks pretty good someone's a little bit bloated and has a tummy ache so give him some room and yeast he bloated him a little now he's gonna get a mix of a uh, bunch of stuff. Come on, bub. There we go. My hands are all full of stuff. No babies for cinnamon. Lola has her two, but one of them's in the house as a bottle baby because you didn't like the one and he was really tiny. This one's just seeping. Cute. And then Tan has not had babies yet. Lucy has not had babies yet. Dixie, that's your name, duh, has not had babies yet. I'm hoping you're a good mom because last year you were not. And cinnamon took your kids because uh, we gave them to her. You, Sapphire, have not had babies yet. Hopefully, you're a good mom. Amethyst has not had babies yet. Hopefully, you're also a good mom. Your mama has not had her babies yet this year. Annabelle. Blue's kiddos are doing really well. I'll crawl in there in a second. Daphne has not had babies. 
and our fresh ones from last night are doing well. Good job, Zar. Hi, little babies. That's a boy. He does have blue eyes. So that's fun. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> I lost baby cups. They're so little. You're like four and a half pounds. What's up? There's your mom. And then the smaller, but the firstborn of the two that it helps is the girl. And she's kind of a, this like fun Palomino and white color. She does not have blue eyes. So oh, they might be marble. So they might be a mix of brown and blue. Her little heart is racing. Hi, bubs. <laughs> Oh goodness, he's too cute. So this is a girl. She's blue and white and has bright blue eyes, if you can't tell. And she's so cute. Oh my gosh. I gotta decide if I'm gonna sell this one or not because she's so cute. I don't know. Those, she got like eyeliner on her eyeballs. You're cute. You're not saying a word. And then your brother. <coughs> louder and he's red and white and he's really fun he's got white boots a little bit of red on there and you also do you have blue eyes are they brown brown nice but he's cute too well the chin spot we had a lot of chin spots last year you can see <laughs> they're cute there you go. You're doing great, Blue. Fine, fine. Who's gonna be next? Maybe you? You don't have much of a bad glass that looked. Could be you. Could be you. Could be you. And it could be cinnamon. We don't know. And then there's that one. Just vibing. He's really cute too. That's a boy. So she had two boys. The other two had a boy and a girl. So we have four boys and two girls so far, typical. We always end up with more bucklings than doe wings. So I'll, uh, I'll keep you posted on what's to come. Dad's bedding after we scrape that yard way better now. So now they can have dry base, dry bedding on top. Not be laying in this like soupy mess from the rain, but it's really good. So there you go. Bed in the fat and the calves. So they should be good. And then I can just did a little bit in the barn as well. But I'll keep you posted on the baby goats. <laughs> At least there's something exciting and cute going on for the end of the year. But <sighs> let me know if you have any questions. Find me on other social media platforms as that fit advocate. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.